it's uh, quite windy today and rainy, uh, pretty wet, but I had the opportunity, so I thought I would come up to some higher elevation. Uh, I'm in Hatcher's Pass today. And so my goal was to come up here and uh, maybe get some collared pika and some marmot and uh, maybe some American pippets and uh, golden crowned and savannah sparrows um, and maybe some ptarmigan. So this is a great area, it's always uh, uh, a good variety of, of birds and small wildlife here. Um, I've seen golden eagles and rough-legged hawks here too. Um, but you know what? I, I don't know what to expect today. So uh, with the rain and, and a bit of wind we've got up here, uh, who knows? So uh, this, this may be really fun or, uh, you know, might not get anything. But it's still great to be out here, get some fresh air, and uh, just to be up here in this kind of alpine scrub is awesome and I love it. And uh, I think on a day like today, it's a lot of the people are away. So, uh, so that's cool. Um, not to have a bunch of people around. So anyway, um, yeah, well, let's get to it and see what we can find. made it up to the rock pile where I usually find pika. Um, yeah, it's still pretty wet up here, but uh, I'm pretty sure I heard a, a pika yelp. And I can hear some pivots and sparrows, so um, I'm hopeful. Hopeful to find something to photograph and I think the rain just makes it more interesting, so uh, you know, a bit of atmosphere. Pretty cool, I think I see a hiker way up, way up high. Yeah, somebody's way up there, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna find my, my spot here and uh, see if these little boogers will come out where we can get some glass on it and make some photos. So I found a little spot to sit and wait and uh, a golden crown sparrow uh, flew in. So I uh, had a little brief encounter with it. Uh, such a such a cool little bird. Um, they've got this really sweet call, and uh, yeah, it's nice to see them. So so far, uh, no colored pika yet, but uh, this is the spot. So just uh, yeah, just keep waiting and seeing what else comes through. a hoary marmot and uh, I saw a pika too so try to get some uh, some footage of them and get some photos there he is there he is
he's he's right up there. <sighs> Sitting on a rock up here. Uh, he's a little bit of a distance away, but not too far. So there was, uh, there was two marmots. One looked like a juvenile. <clears throat> a young one, so... Oh, I see it. I see it. There it is. get too close but if I just sit here if I just sit here patiently I think I can get some photos yeah they're, they're cute little boogers so I'll just wait I've been waiting here for uh, these marmots hoary marmots to uh, come out of their den they were holed up for a little while but uh, I waited here and Sure enough, they emerged. They came out, and uh, there's two of them. They just scurried through the rocks. Uh, the one was looking around, making sure there was no danger, and then scurried off into the rocks. So. Yeah, they're such fun little critters. Still no pike guy. I saw one, but uh, from a distance, and uh, I haven't seen it again, so who knows? But I'm stoked to uh, uh, get these marmot here.
Let's have some fun with that uh, marmot, but uh, it fled. I tried to get a little bit closer and um, it saw me and spooked, so. But that's okay. Uh, on my way down from uh, where I was, I had to climb up a little bit higher for that marmot. And uh, as I was on my way down, I, I saw a pika. So I'm in a spot here where I saw it go down into the rocks and hopefully it'll emerge if I, uh, you know, just patient and quiet and sit here. I think, uh, I think it might come up and show itself. So, uh, I've got a lot of Arctic ground squirrels, uh, chattering and I think they're on to me. <laughs> I think they're ratting me out, but, uh, I think this, uh, pika should show itself. Uh, yeah, just gotta be patient. So. I'll stay here for a little bit longer. I thought this was a pika, but it turns out it was a, a little juvenile marmot so uh it popped out right in front of me that was really cool still no peck and there he is Finally, finally spotted a pika. He was running down the hill with a, a big yellow flower in his mouth. And uh, I, I tried to get over to it, but uh, he went down into the rocks before I could get any photos of that. But uh, he came out for just a split second, uh, just long enough for me to get a couple shots off. And then he, uh, he took off again. So yeah, that was, that was cool. That was awesome. Whew. Yeah, they are cute little buggers. I'm gonna stick around a little bit longer and see if I can uh, find this guy again. And this guy's just kinda, oh, they're scurrying around. There's another one uh, down below me. So I've got two of them that I'm watching. Um, I've seen a lot of marmot up here and now, you know, now I'm finally finding the pika. So it's really cool to kind of watch them here scurry around the rocks and eating alpine grass and stuff like that. So this is, uh, this is really cool to finally find them. Yeah, they're so cute. They're just like little miniature teddy bears. Cute and cuddly, as my little my little girl would say. So, ah, yeah, Whew, awesome. So glad to have finally found them. I was starting to think I wasn't gonna find any today, but um, yeah, got it. And uh, you know, had had a good time with the marmots. Now just watching this little guy scurry around. So he's he's super cute.
a little pike that keeps coming out on the rocks. And uh, he's just posing for me. He's sitting out on a rock right now, just eating his grass. So cute. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up today and uh, head home. But it's been a super fun day. I've had a blast up here. The rain quit. Um, kind of getting uh, a bit of wind here and there, but not bad. And otherwise, I'm glad it came up. It's been a lot of fun and, uh, you know, I get to share it with you. So click subscribe below and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep banking them. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you.